Welcome back YouTube, good to see you guys and uh, now we continue our adventure to get the tennis racket so we got our climbing axe which is essential if you didn't watch the video uh, part 5 of the tutorial series make sure you have this you need the climbing axe to complete this uh, and to get the tennis racket there is no way you're gonna get it without it I mean you could maybe pull off a stunt or two, but I don't recommend it. <laughs> Besides, it took us only 15 minutes to secure the climbing axe, and it's really very easy. There's no reason for you guys not to do it. Now, we surfaced uh, on the Goose Lake in the last video, which is, and now we're just continuing to go towards our next goal. Uh, we're not gonna go to the yellow thing because it would just take very, very long. Uh, but what we are going to do, and I seriously recommend you guys doing, is save here. God damn it. Save here over slot 4. I mean, mine is slot 4. Save here, uh, because the next part can be a little bit dangerous. We will have to pass through uh, several uh, dangerous situations. So, uh, if you haven't done it in a while, save or even save here at the tent or maybe even build yourself a shelter, shelter before you enter the next cave which is just at the end of this uh, natural dam I, I'd, I'd say yeah it's sort of a dam between the lake and the, and the ocean so let's keep going And here it is. So, just like I said, straight from, just go straight across the natural bridge, and you will find this cave. Uh, or on the map, I should open the map. Yeah, you can see where the red dot is, just on the top left of the paper. Let me hold it a little bit. So yeah, it's over there. So basically, we went from. Uh, from the bottom there near the near the anchor you can see the anchor beach from that cave entrance we surfaced at the at the lake and then we just kept going north just until we got to this cave entrance that's easy mode and now we just go inside you will get a new task to the on the to-do list but this cave is actually where you go if you want to get to the bottom of the sinkhole that's why it's called the sinkhole cave we are not going to do the sinkhole I'm going to let you explore that one on your own and the reason we are not going to do it in this series is because it's very very long and there is basically a dead end at the bottom uh, that is not yet implemented in the game this is version 0 0.34 so there's really no point in going and I, b I believe that thing is just going to be for the uh, for the story mode anyway which is not essential for our tutorial series we're doing this for the survival so I don't want to spoil that that stuff for you you guys can figure it out on your, on your own and it's pretty much linear so you can do it by yourself just make sure to be prepared now here's the tricky part we're gonna climb down here but at the bottom of this pit there is an armsy monster and a couple of uh, starving cannibals. I'm just gonna toss the dynamite. Maybe I'll hit some of them. They're about there. Yeah, I think I failed. Oh, I actually hit them. Okay, and now what you want to do? You don't even have to hit them with the dynamite. What, what you can do is... Oh, I actually missed them. Just rush through, pay no attention to them, and rush through. Ignore the armsy, and keep to your left, there's another one going to be here. Just keep going, on the edge of this hole, don't fall down, until you jump here. After you jumped up here, they won't be able to follow. Yeah, even some dumbasses fell down the pit. So, if you want to explore the sinkhole, you have to climb this rope, and keep going down. 
There are going to be some sections that you will need to use the axe for, but most of the way is just climbing down the rope. Uh, you, can, you will actually find another modern axe on the way as well. But we are not interested in the sinkhole, so we are going to keep going until we find this little section over here. It branches off to the left or right. If you go to the left, it's going to be a dead end. So we're going to go to the right. Now, here is an icky part. In this room, there are going to be babies. So what I like to do... You know, it's a bit dark. Let me, let me put the super on so you guys can see. You're going to hear babies cry. As soon as you hear them, take a dynamite. Don't worry about using your dynamite, there's plenty in this room. And just throw it somewhere over there. Quickly take a weapon and keep blocking in case any of those babies survive. Judging by the sound, they're all dead. Now you don't have to worry about using dynamite as I said because there's plenty of dynamite in here and flares. And now what you basically... Am I on the super grading? I am, okay. Now what you wanna do is basically... I recommend mark your way down by tossing a few flares. There we go. Because what we'll have to do is take our climbing axe get to this wall until you see the E icon and just uh, climb on the wall now you just go left you go down 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 you go to that flare that's why I marked it just keep going down 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 if you have to adjust just go a little bit left down at some point you won't be able to keep going then you can just hit the E key if by any chance you start falling, just quickly hit the E key and you will grab yourself on the on the cliff again. Okay, now we have to climb this wall. So I'm going to try to actually throw another flare here. The useful, uh, it's useful to leave these flares behind, uh, uh, because if you don't, you will have a hard way, uh, harder way finding your way out. I learned this when I did did my when I practiced this one, my new uh, move on the stream uh, the other night. So yeah, make sure you light your way. I mean, flares are easy to come by, so use them. They're your friends. I'm gonna toss another one here, just to be on the safe side. And now we just have to keep going uh, until. I'm going to sneak now. Now here is the icky tricky part. Over there in the back there is a tennis team and there is a tennis racket we're going to pick. However there is a Virginia over there. You can fight it or you can just rush quick 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 grab the tennis racket and run. Now see how our flare is useful now I know exactly where I need to go. So if you don't want to fight the Virginia just rush 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 go to that wall Grab your climbing gear, attach yourself to the wall and climb, before she even has a chance to respond. There is nothing else interesting going on in this cave, so just climb out. Now at the end of this wall, we, I, you remember you have to go right. Take a look under your feet. Yeah, that's it. Now we can let go. Now we have to go to this wall. And just keep going up. It is a little bit hard to see with all the with the little light, but we'll have to work with it. Now when you see this this end, just go to the left. Go to the water. There you go. This is where those babies used to be. Now if there are any remaining flares you can pick them up. To replace the ones you used to mark your way. And basically now we have to go up. Uh, to go outside. 
And we do that just by following the same way. Same way we did. So through this little Winty Winty cave. And now again, you can just rush through those cannibals. Make sure your stamina is full. If your armor isn't ready, fill it up. I'm not gonna worry about mine because I know I'm not gonna die. So refill your eye. Arms is going to charge you, but don't worry, he's slow. Just jump over these things. You can even hit these fuckers with, with, some, with your torch. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Grab the rope and shift to climb up. You should, you should have no problems reaching the top floor, and now you're safe. And if you want to be a, a bastard about it, celebrate your victory by lighting a piece of dynamite and tossing it down to the cannibals. They like to explore everything that burns. Say good night, tata. <laughs> And you can even snipe the, the Ramsey if you want. I'm not going to bother. But remember, as of this version, everything you kill stays dead. So if you plan to come back, you might as well kill him. Now that they're after you. You're safe up here. And when you're done playing with these boys, just get out the way you came in. Uh, these, these, these are some passengers. They usually have uh, watches on. And I'll just get out. And this concludes basically our tennis racket tutorial. And yes, now I'm, going, I'm just gonna go home. I'm gonna save. Here is a racket. Hang on, where is it? It's not a very useful weapon. It's just sort of a thing we pick up so that we can just say we've been there. We got it. We picked it up. And when you're done, you can just go go home to your base. Uh, in our case, uh, it should be at the white flag where where our log holder is. Actually, I noticed something new here. Let's see. This tent didn't used to be here, as far as I know. Yeah, that's new. There is a hole here. If you go down there, you're going to see a couple of uh, fat mutants. Yeah, there's nothing in this tent. It's just here for decoration. Here's the sinkhole. Uh, like I said, if you take uh, the other way on the cave, in in the cave that that we just visited, you will end up at the bottom of it. Not gonna talk about it much. You can just figure it out on your own. And now we just keep going to back to our base. So. If you just came here for the tennis racket, now you know you can stop watching the video. The rest of the video is just going to be getting home. And unless some interesting incident happens on the way, there's not going to be much to see. Okay, let's have our stamina boost. Put some more armor on. Let's replace the, one, the armor that we used. Here we go, let's keep going. Yeah, if you take a look at the tennis racket, it's not very, very high damage weapon. Even the climbing axe does more damage. It's good for blocking, but... Sometimes I like to troll the cannibals by hitting them with it, pretend we're playing tennis. But that's about it. It's not, it's not a very useful weapon to have. Okay, let's see if we can get home before dark. That would be nice. Do we have our... Oh! If you take the same route home... You might as well make a stop here. Come on. There is this lovely little lake. If you don't have your fishing spear yet, here is where you can pick some up. There we go. I already had the upgraded spear, but I didn't have this one. So I'm gonna take the big one. And I'll just keep going home. It's gonna get dark again. 
not going to worry about super color grading because this isn't important. You just follow the follow your markers, follow your flags, and you'll eventually get home. And the reason why I'm keeping this going is because I want to save the game when we get there. Just so we have a starting point at our base for the, some of the future tutorials. Because we still have to cover traps, we still have to cover fighting. And that's going to be the subject of some something else. Come on, stamina. And another stamina boost. That's why it's good to pick flowers. If you need stamina, just spam, spam, spam. At the end game, when you build your farms, when all those things start growing, you can just... You'll never run out of flowers if you keep constantly pick everything up. And you can just reuse and reuse. Oh, here is some alloy. See, we're... we're we'll immediately pick it up it's always good for the medicine oh the only thing we have to be careful is those cliffs can be a bit funky and dangerous let's just go to our white flag because that's where our lock sled is and I know lock sled isn't at the base After, as you keep playing the game for longer and longer periods of time, you will actually get to know the, the forest, because it's always the same. My wish is that someday they will make it some kind of a random forest generated terrain, that would be awesome. But for the time being, we just have to play on the pre-made map. There we go, I already know this. Our house is just above this up on this hill, there it is, you can already see the lights mission accomplished, it's not very late, so we're going to sleep we're going to save, and that's where we're going to end this tutorial so let's sa sleep, save on slot 4 yes, that's our tutorial slot and there we go. So in this tutorial we got the tennis racket and basically now we have uh, yes we have every weapon in the game so we have a bow, we have the katana, tennis racket, plain axe, climbing axe, rusty axe, modern axe, custom made axe, club we cut from the cannibals, crafted club we, cl we cr created by using sticks and uh, the skull, upgraded stick, Quick spear, upgraded spear. There is an upgraded rock. You can also use bones and cannibal limbs for weapons, but nobody does that unless it's like for, <laughs> unless it's me doing the trolling. And yeah, that pretty much it. That's pretty much it. That concludes our tutorial. Have a great day, and see you next time. Bye bye.